This is me, a soft-spoken, outcast, high school senior. My name is Kyle, but not many people call me that except for my mother. Instead, they call me dork, dweeb, geek, loser, and any other derogatory name they can think of. My high school years haven't been the greatest. I have been picked on and pushed around all four years. And even my friends aren't really my friends. They are the people who just say thanks after I do their homework. Yeah, high school has really sucked these past four years. These guys are the ones who pick on me most of the time. They are the Michaels twins. Ever since first grade, Tim and Tom Michaels have made fun of me and pushed me around. And now, 12 years later, they still beat on me whenever they get the chance. I tried to fight back once, but that didn't go over too well. Instead of letting up the beatings, they only lashed down even harder. Fortunately, I have grown accustomed to their abuse, and when they do make my life miserable, I usually can tolerate it pretty well. I cannot wait to graduate and get out of this place, and get away from all these people who picked on me for so many years. Yeah, I would have to say that high school has not been a walk in the park, but a trip through hell. Personally, I think I'm a pretty average guy. I mean, I don't fit into any social ladders, but I act like all my fellow classmates, or so I thought. I can be on the computer for hours each day. Mostly, I'm playing solitaire or talking to my cyberspace friends. But sometimes, I get the urge to just let my imagination run wild, and I can sometimes draw some amazing computer-generated images. My family doesn't believe in TVs, something about them brainwashing our minds with radiation and advertising. Anyway, I learned to read at a very young age, and I read for entertainment instead of watching TV. The library is my second home. Every day after school, I go there to check out a book for that evening's enjoyment. Usually, I'll finish a novel each night. I love nothing more than games, especially if they are challenging. I practice almost every night for my chess tournaments by playing games against myself. Not only is it good practice, but it also ensures my victory while also preparing me for the possible defeats. When I'm not at the library, on the computer, playing chess, or doing my homework, I am listening to music. Music is wonderful. I love to hear the intricacies of Chopin, Beethoven, and even Bach. Every night, I start my homework at about 5 o'clock. Sometimes, I finish quickly, but with my assignments and those of four other people, sometimes it can take a long, 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 really long, long time. And now and then, I don't even finish my homework at all. Did I mention that my assignments can take a really, really long time sometimes? Really, really long? My bus comes promptly at 6.45 a.m. and I wake up promptly at about 8 a.m. two to three times a week. These late calls have not helped my popularity with the people I do their homework for. And many times I have made it to school only to have a knuckle sandwich waiting for me when I get there. Hungry and tired from the previous night, I grab my stuff and begin the 20 minute jog to school. Being so tall, I sometimes find it hard to run without tripping over my feet. Growing 12 inches in the air is not an easy thing to get adjusted to. And in several instances, I have found myself hitting the dirt, the concrete, the asphalt, or whatever ground I'm standing on. It's not the physical pain that bothers me, it's the pain of my already badly hurt pride that bothers me the most. One day in particular, I remember walking home from school when I tripped on my feet to myself and the papers I was holding flying through the air. As I was rummaging through the collection of papers in my hand and on the ground, I looked up for a brief moment and saw her. 
the most beautiful, attractive girl in my high school, Crystal Formosa. I had had a crush on Crystal since the third grade when her locker was next to mine, and every day she would giggle with her friends and say, Ew, boys, whenever I would say hi. I thought she was the best, most perfect girl in the universe, and she probably didn't even know that I existed. I loved everything about her. She was the Key Club president, where she led volunteer activities throughout the community. She was Miss Brooke Park, which is an extreme honor in Brooke Park. She also was a straight-A student, not to mention she had an amazing body. She was perfection in my mind, and it killed me that she didn't even know my name, or even that I was in the same grade as her. Inevitably, she was going to walk by my faux pas, and I was so nervous about what might happen. What if today she broke the cycle and actually said hi, or even helped me? What if? What if she did what everyone else does, and just called me a loser and just keep walking by? And what if I overcome my inhibitions and sweep her off her feet and into my life? No, what really happened is what I feared all along. She walked by without even acknowledging my presence. Not a nod, not a wave, not even a glance. Yep, I was no one the Crystal Formosa, and that is the way it seemed it would stay. in the sky I also on the faces of people passing by I see friends shaking and singing how do you do they really say I I love you I hear babies cry and I watch them go they'll learn much more Wow.